going on everyone? In this video, I'll be talking about the SAT reading exam and how to get a perfect score on it with the best tips that you guys can use to make sure you improve your score to whatever it is. Let's say it's a 1200, 1300, all the way to a 1500 plus. So let's jump right into the video. What is the first main tip that I can give you all to really ace the SAT reading exam? Well, what I would say is to use Khan Academy for SAT reading passage practice. You see, on Khan Academy, you probably see SAT reading history, SAT reading uh, like science, and all these other example passages that you can use to really practice and be exposed to SAT style reading questions. Because at the end of the day, if you're not exposed to these types of questions, it'll be really hard to actually know what to expect on the SAT exam and to really practice, right? You wanna practice like it's game time, so you wanna practice with real, realistic SAT reading questions. The Khan Academy does a great job at that. And another thing you can use to uh, take practice exams is the College Board website. They have a bunch of PDFs that you can uh, you know, download and actually take the exam right on. Now you might be like, hmm, how can I really take this exam when you know PDF's online, I can't really write on it or do a bunch of other stuff with it. That's where I would like to introduce Wondershare PDF Element Pro. I use the Element Pro to take all the SAT practice exams and practice exams for any single college class in general. I can utilize as many markup tools such as the pencil, which allows me to underline important information, circle answers, or write something in the margins in case I want to go back to it later. The multicolors are also a nice touch in case I want to color code my underlining. By the way, one of my favorite features is probably the sticky note tool because it's something I can just, you know, write a quick idea to annotate like this is what the author's message is. And I can look back at this later on when I uh, review my answers. This is easily one of the best tools to take any online exam, including the SAT, ACT, or any other exam you guys take in school. You'd also use its conversion feature to convert your PDF into other formats. For example, you see PDF to Word, PDF to Image, PDF to Excel, and PDF to PowerPoint. One of the coolest tools is the OCR recognition text tool, which turns a scanned PDF into editable text in no time, which can come in super clutch as a college student especially. This is too easy. So that is why I highly recommend using the Wondershare PDF Element Pro. Check the link in the description for more details. The second main tip is to excite yourself before reading. And by exciting yourself, I mean you want to like read that title, right? You want to use the title to like make your brain, uh, like trick your brain really, and to be like, wow, I cannot wait to read this SAT reading passage. Like it's probably the best reading article thing that I ever have read in my life. Now you might be like, Ritesh, why are you saying to excite yourself before reading? Like that's like really, well, that's probably really weird when you first imagine the title on the street, hey, to get a high school essay reading pass, you should excite yourself first. So the whole reason you want to excite yourself, you know, mentally is because most people, including myself, when we are taking the ST reading exam, our brain wanders, right? And we're like, yo, like this, this is stupid. Like, I do not want to be here. I do not want to read this, right? And as a result, we just, we're not paying attention to what we're reading, right? And we're missing key concepts. We're missing a uh, whole, like, half of passages. Sometimes for some people, the whole entire passage, like they read the entire passage and they're like, what did I just read, right? So you want to use a title to start tricking your brain into actually wanting to read and actually staying alert. Because if you do that, then you will automatically start drawing connections and basically force your brain to be like, whoa, 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 let me actually pay attention to this. I know it sounds stupid, like a lot of people don't like the mental psychological tricks, but this is the best mental psychological trick that I can give you guys. In fact, I actually got this trick from Sal Khan, you know, the creator of Khan Academy, and I used it myself when I took my SAT, because I, I hate reading, I, oof. So SAT reading was like a nightmare, but after doing this, I was like, yo, like this helps a lot. Like I'm actually, one, I'm not bored out my life reading these passages. And two, like it's actually kind of interesting. Like I, I'm actually vibing with these passages more. And now the third tip, this is one of my favorite tips. I'm sure you guys have heard me say it multiple times. That's to annotate, all right? You need to annotate your text, right? I want to share PDF Element Pro. You know, I talked about it early in the video. It literally lets you do so many things. And one of the things that I love, you know, using it for is to annotate. Because at the end of the day, the ST is going to be able to be digital, right? That's like a big thing. So you want to be able to use tools that, you know, let you annotate and write on the text, which is why in the PDF element pro such a good thing and like you guys should get in the habit of annotating right right now obviously the ST is still pen and uh, pen and paper pencil paper so you want to like make sure you write notes on the margins right this kind of goes hand in hand with exciting yourself before reading because if you mentally excite your brain before reading you're gonna like want to also annotate as a result because you go like, hey this is a great idea this is a great statement by the author let me highlight this let me underline this because it's very important so by doing those two, two things together you're 
prepping yourself to comprehend the mess out of that section. Like you're about to understand every single thing as if you wrote it yourself, right? And when you're reaching that position, you can probably answer at least 10 out of the 11 questions correct. So that's a lot of questions you're getting correct, right? All just by doing these two simple tricks. And my last tip, and this is a tip that, uh, again, goes back to the annotation. It goes back with the exciting yourself. <clears throat> you want to annotate, of course, but you want to somehow also relate the text back to your own personal life. And you're gonna be like, well, that might be a little hard, especially when it's talking about Abraham Lincoln and how John Wilkes Booth, you know, assassinated him. I can't really relate that back to my life. You better find a way. Okay, I don't know, just find a way somehow. Right? Pretend you're Abraham Lincoln or something. Because by connecting the reading to yourself, you're able to you know, take some personal value from the story. And whenever you take something personal, some personal value from anything, right? Let's say um, you, you get a bat, or you get a bat from your dad before like he went to the military or something, right? This bat will not mean a lot to you. You'll always remember this bat. So you wanna somehow drive, drive some personal connection or value from the text because this way you're going to actually want to, you know, remember what you just read. You're actually going to be like secondhand nature remembering everything you just read because you're like, "Hey, you know, this relates to my life. Wow, I can really relate to this. Like this is, goes hand in hand. Like this is like me in the story now. Like you're you're basically becoming one with your passage." And it, it sounds really weird, but trust me, if you're trying to if you are able to like uh, read some couple of statements in a paragraph and uh, relate to it, then you will have more sentimental value to it and you're probably gonna uh, understand the passage overall way better, right? It's comprehension at the end of the day, so you wanna do whatever you can to comprehend that passage to the max extent, right? And I know it might be hard, guys. Like, trust me, I, I sucked at SD reading comprehension. Like, I, my SD reading score was like a 600, I think, or 620 in the real beginning, maybe even a 610. Right and now, uh, for some people that might be a lot, but for me it was like very little, and I was like, "Yo, this is like this is bad, right?" But I was able to improve using these tips. So I highly recommend you know utilizing these tips, guys, and seeing where it can get you. And I want you guys to comment down below which tip was your favorite. And if you made it to the end of this video, I do want to say that there is a bonus SAT reading tip, and that bonus SAT reading trip is just to be confident, right? That goes for any exam, any SAT uh, part, any SAT section. Be confident in what you can do. Be confident in how you are going to take your exam. Because at the end of the day, confidence is everything. If you go on the exam nervous, you're probably not going to do well. So just you know, believe in yourself. Believe in um, your, the, your practice. Believe in all the preparation you've done for this exam. And you'll be fine. Thank you all for watching. Peace.